Hi, after a long time. So, oh my god. Lots of things happening in my life and that is the reason I'm not able to upload on my YouTube channel regularly for so long now and I miss it so much. It sucks. But anyways, I'm back again and I have a major major update. Wow, the sunlight is amazing after non-stop rainfall for last few days. So, I thought this is a good time to vlog and update you what's happening in my life. So first of all those of you who don't know and who are new here uh, I am Ashmi and uh, I shifted to Belgium from India in the start of 2020 right before pandemic what a timing it has been crazy and uh, it's almost 3 years now here like next feb I will complete 3 years in Belgium so my first videos first two or three videos you have to watch where I documented my journey how I came here and how I set up my beautiful home in this beautiful garden view apartment the main highlight actually which got us to select this place and uh, build our life here but but unfortunately uh, we have to leave the apartment and the main main culprit is this bloody heater oh my god so this stupid electric heater I don't know how old this technology is because this heater here is not good like it has messed up with our lives a lot so the electricity prices the gas prices are increasing day by day and we got a mail from our electricity provider that the prices are going to increase a lot and you have to pay a lot per month i will reveal those crazy numbers after some time uh so that was the reason we decided like it's high time we cannot live here and we have to look for an apartment and we were anyways thinking of moving from 1 bhk to a two bedroom apartment so we searched and then we finally got one so today is 27th of september and we are going to move to our new apartment on 1st of october hardly 2 3 days remaining we have to pack everything which is such a headache oh my god because we have lots of furniture and uh, need to do all that so i am taking you on this journey with me so we'll pack everything uh, in this apartment and move it to the new apartment and make it a livable place so i want to take you for a ride if you have not been following me from the beginning i highly recommend you watch my initial 2 uh, 3 videos where uh, I set up the entire apartment, like how I did all the furniture shopping from IKEA and did everything. It was crazy, but lots of fun. So please watch that as well, and uh, let's begin. This is the condition of our apartment. So we need to reassemble this couch here, then TV cabinet, and uh, we have a huge study table, two tables actually. and lots of kitchen stuff and then there are two cupboards in the bedroom and one big bed i'm already stressed but let's do it first thing on my mind is to clear the stuff on this tv cabinet so let's do that the main thing when you're looking for an apartment to rent is to check the epc rating of any apartment or a house So you must be thinking what does EPC mean? So EPC simply means energy performance certificate. EPC determines how energy efficient your home is and that is extremely important in European homes. So if suppose you go to Emoweb which is a popular site to find apartments on rent in Belgium, for each house you will find an energy section where they mention what is the EPC rating and what is the primary energy consumption which is measured in kilowatt hours per square meter. Now the energy rating varies from minus hundred to more than five hundred. This measurement unit refers to the annual energy consumption required for heating, hot water, ventilation, and cooling. The lower the score, the better. The energy class is between A plus to F, at least in Flanders, and varies a bit in other parts of Belgium. Now A plus is the best, and F is the poorest energy class. We have reached Brico, which is a DIY paradise. So, if you want to 
build your house from scratch you will get everything here possible so we are going to get ziploc bags and tape and bubble wraps and cardboard boxes so let's go shopping So these are the bubble wraps. We are planning to get three of them. What is it? Good enough. Ten meters. Three pieces. One pack. One tape. अरे वाह, तीन tapes हैं उसमें. हाँ, तीन हैं. So we have drilled some holes uh, in the wall, and we need to fill them back. So this is a this nice is a, filler. But the yellow, na, two, or then this single. One, bigger, take one. This is seven euros. This is five pounds. One, okay, na, two, two tips. The quantity is not too small. One small bubble wrap, chhi, apne ko. I mean for glasses and stuff. Dear. Or be. So we got three uh, bubble wraps, one three tapes, and uh, one uh, wall wall filler, and all this came for 60 euros. I know it's not cheap, but we had no other option. I think we still got a decent deal, and uh, they had some cardboard boxes just left over, and they were like, you can pick them for free. So we got few of them. And we can store our uh, glasses and cups in this. So that's a nice thing. This is our mattress and now we are going to dismantle our bed in the bedroom biggest project so we have to dismantle this after this these are this is one cupboard and this is one chest drawer actually it's very complicated this thing these two are easy comparatively to dismantle so let's begin so it becomes extremely important that you choose an apartment or home which has the lowest energy rating or label possible the lower the value the less energy you are consuming for heating the apartment and for the supply of hot water this eventually means that you will not pay crazy bills per month which happened to us in the apartment the old apartment the energy rating here is 400 and it is so high that we ended up paying almost 400 euros per month which was insane we actually made the mistake to change our energy provider from ng to mega which just made things worse now ng and mega are one of the many energy providers in belgium and with ng we were paying 250 euros per month initially but we thought even 250 is so much and we should switch to another energy provider to save money and ended up choosing mega which we realized later that was the worst option to choose we were literally paying double the amount which got insanely frustrating for us and that is the reason we desperately started apartment hunting and made sure that we only visited the ones which had apc rating of only a b or c and where energy consumption is not more than 150 kilowatts hours per square meter we got lucky because we found a bigger apartment which has two bedrooms apc rating of b and even the rent is little cheaper so big lesson learned and now we are so happy to shift to our new apartment an important tip is to save all the booklets of ikea when you purchase the furniture for the first time because that is helping us to even dismantle the bed frame here because we are getting confused with some step so please never throw your books but the manual help, uh, uh, while making it again yeah and because we have to uh, like Make the furniture again. This will help you. 
So the company that we chose for movers and packers, they also provide boxes on rent. So we thought that instead of using cardboard boxes, why not use this sturdy uh, plastic boxes and then we can give them back. So these are the boxes that just came. We took the deal of 30 boxes on rent for one week and then they will take it back. So the total came up to 30 euros, so it is like 1 euro for one box. It's similar to what you can get in IKEA, but more environment friendly. So yeah, <laughs> these are a lot, but I think more is better than having less boxes. And they will take it back from us next week. The bed frame is officially taped, bubble wrapped, secured completely. Let's get to the chest drawer. Now that you know which factors to consider while choosing an apartment, actually finding an apartment of your choice is not that easy here in Belgium. Uh, we were told by our lots of friends that in summer, uh, that is the best time to find apartments as lot of people move out of the city or they change uh, to other apartments. So probability of finding more options are between June to August. Also, it's important to know that because lots of other people are applying for these apartments as well, along with you, there is a lot of competition. So many real estate agents or brokers or the owner of the apartment will ask for motivation letter and then you can get selected to visit the apartment. And if you end up liking an apartment a lot, I will highly recommend to proactively get in touch with owner or the broker to show interest and make some extra calls and send those emails to make your case much stronger. We did that and only because of our proactiveness, we got the new rented apartment. So don't be shy and do it. The efforts are totally worth it. Bedroom is completely done. Just need to bubble wrap all the parts which we'll do in the night because right now we are so tired but this was a good job done tomorrow is the living room today is thursday and so entire things are in place now and now living room needs to be taken care of i cannot even this is madness but just today and tomorrow so I will start packing some stuff now. Next point is after you finally sign the contract for your new apartment, you need to inform the current landlord that you are going to leave the old apartment and serve the required notice period and empty the apartment on the particular date. For this, you need to send a registered letter by post to your landlord's address. In the letter, mention everything and also the date you will leave the apartment and ask them to come to the apartment to collect the keys. This letter needs to be registered. So when you go to the post office, mention clearly about it and you will end up paying around 8 or 9 euros and you will also receive a receipt for this registered letter as your proof. Know that after you send the registered letter, your notice period begins and it is 3 months here in Belgium. I have actually made a detailed video explaining everything on how to rent an apartment. I will add the link in the description box below. So please watch it. It will really help you. To avoid confusion, it's really important to label these boxes so that we know where to put the boxes in the new apartment and don't have to search again. So that will save a lot of time. So it's very convenient. Like I just got these stickies from Hema, which is a good stationery shop here. And I'll just put one sticker it's so difficult to do it with one hand files and folders living room clear out the kitchen stuff let's start that i think i have decent amount of stuff not too much but not less as well 
Yeah. Oh my god. I think I should not store this. This will help me tonight. I'm not packing this, but I think everything else I will start packing. I want to talk about the situation if your current landlord happens to be difficult. Unfortunately, that happened with us. Although we had sent the registered letter via post to inform him about us leaving the apartment, we tried calling, sending voicemails and even emails to him with absolutely no response from him. We had no idea if he even knew that we were going to leave the apartment. He resides in another town which made it even more difficult for us to get in touch with him. Then we came to know about tenant association where you as a tenant can become members and they will provide you with legal advice for different matters related to tenant rights and stuff like that. It's not free though. You need to pay a one-time fee of 20 euros for the membership. It's an investment for you and can really help you in strange situation like we faced and get proper advice what to do. If you're interested in becoming a member, you can check the link in the description box below and can get all the information that you need. My back is aching like crazy. <laughs> I need a break. I'm going to buy some pastry or something. Have a tea break and then get back to work. Next, I want to talk about movers and packers. If you have lots of furniture like we do and need to move all of the things to the new apartment. Now there are many companies here in Belgium but they are either not available on your moving date or they can be extremely expensive. So keep in mind to research and book your movers and packers way ahead of time. You have 3 months notice period so do it in the beginning and get done with this task. You can choose to get the service where movers and packers company people will do everything for you like dismantling the entire furniture, packing it, moving it into the truck and then transporting the stuff to your new address and even assembling the furniture back. Basically, you won't need to do any work but oh my god, they are expensive like crazy. One company we spoke to told us that the service would cost us 3000 euros. We literally laughed and of course did not take the service. As you can see in the entire video, we did all the work of dismantling the furniture ourselves and packing things in the boxes. We just booked one truck with this company called Just Moved. Uh, they came with a driver and one helper and we also called some friends to help us. I will add the link for this uh, moving company in the description box below. So if you are interested, then you can check it out. An important thing to know is that if you are moving and both your old and new apartments happen to be on the ground floor, then you can directly move the furniture through the doorstep. But if either or both the apartments happen to be on the upper floors, then you need to use the crane service and move the furniture through your window. You are not allowed to use the staircase or the lift inside the building for this purpose. And to use this screen service, you need to take city hall permission and place heavy signboards in front of the building mentioning time and date of your move. Now this is a lot of work and uh, uh, luckily the movers and packers company provide uh, these services but uh, they ask for extra charges of 60 to 70 euros. We paid that extra money and reduced the stress to get it done by ourselves. So I will highly recommend you should also do it. Last day in our apartment and this is the situation. We are done, I think 80 to 90% of the work. Now the next task is to remove this office desk, which is extremely heavy, little scared. But yeah, if this is done, then we are like almost free from all the difficult tasks. Then we'll just wrap the kitchen. And it's done. The day has come. It's 1st of October. And I'm so tired. The cleaning and sorting just never ended. Oh my god. We just cleaned the kitchen in the morning. It's all nice and clean. And now we have all the stuff sorted out. We just have to remove this bed. And in half an hour the moving will start. So luckily it's not raining today. It's a nice clear sky. So, moving the furniture won't be so annoying. So, I will miss the iconic garden view, but it's okay. We are really excited about our new apartment. And I cannot wait to take you on the journey 
for all the setup that I will do for that home. Yeah, that's it. So let's move out from this place.